Hello again, this is Hatchet Gaming, and today we have another Division video for you folks. So let's sit back, jump right into it. Today's topic is solely focused on the Dark Zone, and not necessarily a vendor restock, which I have to greatly apologize for. It is now... Tuesday or almost Tuesday morning and I didn't get the chance to re-record my Dark Zone vendor restock video from Friday so I am apologizing for that from the 9th and this weekend on the 16th for the vendor restock I will make sure I get both videos done and out and this time we aren't going to have any issues with it now on to the topic at hand the dark zone particularly PvP of the dark zone what is the state of the P of PvP currently um right now it's not really in that good of a state. I still do it. I get my hand butt handed to me a lot from the groups that run in bigger packs of four or more. And I'm usually solo or maybe with one other person. But it works. Sort of. And we're going to cover what works what's not working so well get a little bit into the way builds work and don't work and this will be today's topic so here we go today we are talking about PvP and some of the changes that I feel need to happen, need to get looked at, and possibly even addressed in the upcoming Last Stand 1.6 PvP rebalance and what needs to happen within PvP. One of the things is the scaling of firearms because I've noticed once you hit a certain amount and start going over that you get or at least it feels like you get a lot of diminished returns and it ends up negatively affecting your character and negatively affecting the builds that you have the ability to run which isn't the way it should be and makes it much harder to run any type of glass cannon if you wanted or any of those other types of things that could very well be there if it was so desired but they're not and that's just kind of the way it is at the moment which is one of the things that needs to be addressed another big thing is armor and mitigation one good change they've made to it is they put armor destruction and uh, basically enemy armor damage in PvP. But everything with PvP is kind of guess and check solely because you have no way to see you see your DPS number, your second your toughness, and your skill power but you don't see anything of how that's going to correlate within PvP. There's no stat or statistic on what's going to be converted to a PvP format and how that's going to directly interact with other players. 
you have your mitigation, which is somewhat of a tell, but when you're a solo player, mitigation only goes so far in protecting you when everybody else is running in bigger packs. And there's really no way of balancing or you have a big negative effect to it for trying. Another thing which kind of also is going to play in with this mitigation is armor itself and how armor stacks and by using other talents other than rolling armor on every piece possible. Basically the chest piece, the backpack, the holster, and the knee pads and getting as much of it as possible. And if you don't, you're heavily penalized. And personally, I feel that shouldn't be necessarily the case. Of that your mitigation numbers should be all based off of the base roll of armor. So if you wanted to roll skill power on your backpack, for example, you could without having the huge negative impact that you would get if you decided to put skill power on your backpack. And that's just not the way it should be. It just it, it feels like there's really no way to have any type of build diversity like you can use all the different sets you want all the different gun combos but at the end of the day that really doesn't play as big of part as where your armor sits and how high you can get it with your mods and there's a lot of beneficial things on mods that you can't use because you have to have that armor roll and without that armor roll you're directly impacting your survivability against other players even if it's just a 1v1 type of scenario you're at a severe disadvantage and that just feels not right not where it needs to be that's why I think that your base mitigation should be fully off of the base armor roll of your gear and if we did it that way maybe knock down mitigation a little bit and just kinda scale back the amount of damage that is scaled within the mitigation up so it's you're it's still affecting but maybe not necessarily as greatly to make it a little easier to actually kill people in the dark zone and ha give the solo player fighting chances against a group of two or more sure I'm I, I know it happens I've even done it myself but the factor of doing it isn't necessarily always going to be the best so and you're not always going to win or even have a chance at those winning those engagements and what I'm looking for is not necessarily tone it back for t as far as making a solo player so far overpowered that they can always take out bigger groups but somewhere in the middle from where it is to where solo players even with f being focused have a chance especially if they build it right and have a different way of coming out of that fight with a fighting chance instead of just instantly melted which is about what it is now because a bigger group will just focus fire the whole solo player 
and before that solo player has a chance to react, they're dead. And that just doesn't seem fair. The other point that I want to make is with armor and with it going as high as it does and how it affects your toughness without having that armor and getting your toughness as high as you can is also in the same way going to negatively affect a build and it is severely hurting build diversity yeah you can use all the different set combos two pieces three pieces four piece two piece two piece two piece two piece but the result is still going to be the same around no matter how you build it something is going to be sacrificed because you have to have the armor you have to have the high toughness that is an absolute in this current meta because without it you're just going to drop dead get bodied down to the floor and really have no shot which needs to be improved there has to be some type of way to say hey this build diversity needs to happen we want to see what other types of things people can come up with different builds different variants of the same builds and what works for everybody else and still have it viable within the dark zone within PvP and it just feels that something needs to change because there's really no tactics to PvP. It's just either jump around in circles and hope your team can burst down anybody shooting at the one jumping around, or they just burst down one player as quick as possible. And there's it's for a cover based shooter, particularly against NPCs, it being in cover does not work in PvP. They either will run away, run around the cover, and just burst you down, or there's. It just feels lackluster. Like it's missing something. And the fact that it's missing what it. it to me, feels like it's missing is that whole balance with strategy and being able to use the other types of builds that could be you could come up with by having the skill power with a backpack and maybe other types of abilities on your chest piece or your knee pads or the holster and have all that viable instead of armor the best all end all stat within each category and that would end up changing the entire spectrum of PvP skill builds would have a much more ability to survive as well as not as tanky DPS builds then there, you could also have uh, set roles within a group so it works with the tank, a DPS, a skill build to keep everybody alive and then have that kind of freelancing hybrid player that does a little bit of everything and is pretty well balanced. And it makes a, uh, an entirely new experience within PvP itself, which would inject a huge new light to the game and just refresh 
the whole PvP experience and would even draw new players in. Especially if it was more balanced where and had more ability to change the way armor interacted. And with the way that would bring more m new members to our community, help us grow, help smaller YouTubers like myself grow, because we'd be able to have more ways to put out content, different ways to look at builds that maybe some other people wouldn't necessarily see working, and just a much wider spectrum of content. Which also wouldn't be a bad thing. And then we could come up with newer versions of the builds. Like, instead of armor on everything, go into the way it. Because a lot of chess pieces and other things that you get are rolled without armor. And. Usually, if there's more than one, th if it doesn't have the armor, and it has, say, a low main stat roll, like, if it comes firearms, it's a lower roll of firearms, then it would just instantly be trashed. But if we changed the way armor affected mitigation then that tr chest piece might actually be worth keeping and be usable in a build just instead of instantly vendor trashed or deconstructed of that it's a worthless piece which shouldn't be how it is there should still be ways to upgrade your build without having armor on every piece. Because having armor on every piece just doesn't feel right. The, it, it limits the potential of what you can do with builds. Entirely limits. Which isn't good for the longevity of the game particularly PvP longevity because having so much relying on armor here armor in every slot possible is diminishing the value of the pieces that we get which means that it say we get a piece that has everything we're looking for but not armor and you roll it and roll it and roll it and you can't get armor or get the amount you want that piece ends up being useless to you but say we're able to use that piece without even having to roll the armor and it doesn't negatively impact your stats as far as with the way it dives your mitigation and you are basically going to be right in the state it is now are severely penalized for it what happened if we increase the value of the other stats that are rollable on these pieces and makes make those values actually usable to, and make it to where armor isn't the roll all end all stat then there would be a much more diverse community within builds and a much longer longevity to PvP because there'd be more ways to go about staying alive and doing what it is you would want to do. Now, since we've got armor out of the way and how it kind of interacts with everything else, 
let's get into the way talents and skills, abilities interact with the player. And the particular talents I'm really pretty much looking at are critical save and on the move. Because with critical save being as strong as it is, where you can use a med kit at low health to increase damage resistance, but it doesn't feel like it's just an, a damage resistance. It stacks on top of your mitigation, on top of the toughness. It's more, you're trying to make yourself invulnerable for 10 seconds instead of it being more of a resistance. Like, it's once you use it, rolled in with everything else instead of as a separate stat. And there's no way to say how it's going to interact. There's nothing of a stat for, say, the resistance. Like, we have burn resist, shock resist. So, if we have burn and shock resist, and disrupt and blind death resist, then shouldn't critical save we have a straight damage resist that maybe even gets can get rolled on gear? That could actually be very interesting in PvP where it's actually a damage resistance and instead of a percent of a flat percent base it off of say skill power so a skill build that's dedicated to skill power would have a higher resistance to damage by using the med kit and survivable because usually they are a little bit weaker in either toughness or DPS. So having that scale differently based on your skill power, based on the way heals are scaled, might actually give an interesting concept. And instead of a straight flat percent, that if you pop a med kit at, in your last segment of health, you're guaranteed for 10 seconds 40% of all incoming damage to be reduced on top of your mitigation. On top of if you have, say, Survivor Link. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Survivor Link which gives the 50% damage resilience or resistance which also still falls under the, the same category it's damage resistance it shouldn't stack on top of everything else like it does to basically lower or it should be its own stat that can be upped and lowered based on what skill or the actual abilities you use, for example. I say, tie damage resistance as its own little stat, similar to what the fire and shock resist is, that you can actually increase or lower based on your gear pieces and the skills you use that are tied in directly to the talent. Or, say, kind of rework some of the talents like adrenaline that's use a med kit to receive an overheal. What if we changed that to make your healing skills similar to what how vigorous works but affects you as a solo player? So your heal overheals you but it, and maybe even kind of buffs that heal a bit to make it more viable like just as an idea to rebalance talents and skills and make other talents much more useful because it comes down to pretty much the same talents are ran on pretty much every build 
and if you don't aren't using these you're also negatively affected which is making you easier to kill in the long run because without critical save in PvP everybody would pretty well die in an instant but at the same time right now with it you're basically invulnerable for 10 seconds and not gonna die while it's active so there has to be either a rework of it completely or a balance in between to make things more interesting uh, another one is on the move and on the move kind of is the same type of situation it re but instead of giving you a resistance it specifically states it reduces incoming damage so instead of it just kind of stacking with the w uh, the same way critical save does it should be in its own pool and for that 10 seconds l actually give you kind of a reward for killing or a hostile whether it be an NPC or downing an agent in PvP would give a little bit of extra type of balance to the way PvP and how everyone kind of con well, would construct everything around instead of getting trying to time getting on the move and critical save at the same time more than doubling your toughness and trying to make yourself as unkillable as possible to try to inflict as much damage to everybody else around you as possible and they have so many other type of talents that could actually end up being worth it if they just changed things here and there on how they worked or how they were affected by your skills and kind of made certain talents actually directly affect your skills on maybe even making it more powerful or certain effects of it last longer just as a different playability option for a build and that would also in my opinion give a nice longevity to PvP and that is exactly what I'm looking for and what I want because I love this game I want to see this game have a good long run and maybe even get into a eventually at some point a division two and just keep growing and that would be cool that's why I'm making this video to give some types of awarenesses or awareness to PvP and its state of things that might be more beneficial to change now than trying to deal with it later because as soon as we can get it changed balanced and actually in a better spot then the sooner we can all get back in the DZ and really enjoy our time whether we're just farming bosses and PvE and extracting or if we would ever decide to engage in PvP gives more of a level playing field where regardless of what you choose to do and how you go about doing it you still aren't going to be severely penalized by what your choices are with your gear especially for 
some of the newer players that we're trying to attract. I mean, once they get to tier 5, they're just getting annihilated because they don't have the gear that everybody else does. And they're just basically getting thrown to the sharks because they're not as geared as other people and don't have the way to get that gear because of other people and the way everyone treats the DZ. So, the only way around this is to either find a way to really balance the DZ and kind of rework how skills are like particularly our heal because before they did the PVE rebalance we could heal ourselves a lot more efficiently and kind of how they did it now when the base first aid actually can heal stronger than the booster shot that needs to be looked at it truly does because it makes the booster shot pretty well unusable if you don't have a significantly high skill power but by doing that significant high skill power to use it you're taking hits somewhere either in toughness in stamina rolls in your health in fight or in firearms or both and there has to be some balance between this so if you chose to run a skill build you aren't so hit with negative effects so you can actually have a shot of producing either damage or taking damage so then you don't just feel like you're getting hit one or two times and you just get dropped you'll actually have survivability which would also increase the longevity of PvP and I'm putting this video out because they're having that elite task force next month and I want to have at least some thing out there for others to see and maybe some of these ideas can be brought up and see how they will work to increasing the longevity of the game increasing how fun it is either in, for PvP or PvE in the Dark Zone or even combining the two. As I know there's been many times when Rogue that when I've been in a group we'd stop if we weren't being chased and quickly clear a landmark. Just to do it. Because it's fun. And end up running off our rogue, or we meet bigger groups at some point, or it allows people to catch up to us and we die. But that's just how it works. And having more of a balanced version of this will attract more players to it. So, this has been Hatchet Gaming. And this is my thoughts on the current state of the DZ and where it, I would personally like to see it go. I have to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoy it, go ahead and like it. If you don't, there's also that one too. Leave some comments. See, see what you liked about it, what you didn't. Or if you even have any other ideas that I may have missed or not thought of at the time of making this video. I'd like to see it. I'd re definitely reply to it. Have some nice conversation to see what we can actually get changed within the DZ. And make it more fun for everybody. 
So, this is Hatchet Gaming, and I am signing off. Hope everybody has a good day. And if you ever want to get a hold of me, I'll leave the link to my Twitter, which is the best way to get a hold of me, in the description box below. And I'll leave a link to my Twitch channel, where you can catch me streaming almost every single day. I do it. I am working towards streaming daily. And once we get there, I will be posting a regular schedule with in my Twitch channel. So you can always know about when you're going to be able to catch me. Or follow me on Twitter and keep up to date on everything that's going on with the stream, with YouTube, and everything else. See you later, everybody.